it has to be said. And I think I sound like a broken record player when we repeat this. We've got nothing against Ashura Jubola Ahmed Tinobu. All we want is he should come and talk to the Nigerian people. In fact, I read through his manifesto and I aligned over 40 different questions I'd like to ask him. Let's talk the issues. Why are his surrogates letting him not attend the media engagements? What does he have to fear? We would like to ask questions about how he made his money. He said he made his money through inherited real estate. Who would give him the real estate? Because I remember one of his surrogates also talked about you know, him being homeschooled because of the challenges growing up. We just want to ask questions about character. We just want to ask questions in his manifesto about the agricultural board he wants to bring back. We just want to ask questions about what schools did he go to. We just want to ask questions about allegations that have been circulating for a while. About narcotics and drugs and all of that. And he has the right to come clear all of that. Why are we asking those questions? Because our job in the media is to be able to amplify the voices in society and get clarity in our outcomes through questions. And please, Mr. Uh, Prince Ndukao Baigbana has reacted to all of the concerns. But I think what Mr. Dele Alake left in his reply, rather than attacking Dr. Bati and Prince Ndukao Baigbana, is that he should answer the question that did he really call the management of this day to sack me, Rufai Yoseni, and Mr. Shaka Momodu, editor of this day? Can you reply to that? Because those were the real substance in the matter. Did he call? And why did he make that call? Also, he should reply as regards the case raised and the 